Hola amigos, esta cerveza noche. ¿Cómo estás amigos? ¿Qué pasa? Thank you so much for joining me for episode number six of my show, Beer Night with Rich. The most raw, real, unfiltered show that there is about beer. We are filming episode number six from Destin, Florida. I'm hiding on the balcony from my wife and kids. I tried putting the kids to sleep, but they would not fall asleep. So I'm hoping they're going to stay in there and let me do this here. So um, let's jump into the trivia shoutouts from last week. The trivia question was, what are some nicknames for uh, Newcastle Brown Ale? And Vadim answered it correctly. Some of the nicknames are uh, Dog, Brune, and my favorite nickname is Nuki Brown. I thought that was really funny. So uh, a couple comments from last week. Oren said, I like how much you research and share. And Vadim said, good job on the review. I love this beer. Maybe that's why you knew what the nicknames were. So, all right guys, this week's beer, since we're in a tropical location, is Corona Extra. I've seen this my whole life, drank it a little bit in college, but never really learned the history of it. Uh, corona means crown, for those of you that don't speak Spanish. And um, this beer has been around a long time. So, started in 1925 in Mexico by uh, Grupo Modelo. And now Mode Grupo Modelo also makes Pacifico, Negro Modelo, Modelo Especial. So a lot of beers in Mexico. And when they came out, they came out with this in Mexico in 1925, it, it became very popular very fast because of very good marketing. I'm gonna take my sunglasses off here. Very good marketing on the part of Grupo uh, Modelo. In 1979, they decided to try exporting to the United States and it blew up in popularity. It was so popular that they could not keep up with the demand. It was scarce in Mexico because they were trying to get it so much of it to the United States. So. Um, now some of the numbers on Corona Extra, this blew me away when I learned this. It is the top selling imported beer in the United States. It is the top selling beer in Mexico. And it's the fourth top selling beer in the world. So this is one hell of a popular beer. Now, that being said, when you go read what beer experts and craft beer people think about this, they describe it as, um, tasting and smelling like a wet cat, <coughs> urine, piss, all kinds of uh, nasty things. So it's got this interesting uh, irony in that it's got these huge numbers of top selling beer, um, but I can't find anyone who likes it. So let's go ahead and open this and give this a taste. <clears throat> I didn't even have a bottle opener here in our trip, so I'm using a key to pry this open. Couple notes on the bottle. Couple notes on the bottle here. There we go. So it's in a it's in a clear glass bottle, uh, which it's known for. But there's a problem with clear glass bottles in that when you have light, particularly sunlight, hitting it, it can ruin the beer or it can skunk the beer. So that's that's something. Maybe a lot of people taste skunkiness because of that. Another thing they're known for is the shape of the bottle, and there's no sticker label. It's printed, it's ink printed onto the glass. And that's been going on since they started back in the 1920s. So, I also don't have a lager glass. Corona is an adjunct lager, meaning there's adjuncts added to it, like corn and rice, like a lot of, like a lot of big uh, beers. By the way, Grupo Modelo that makes it is owned by InBev, that's the parent company. No surprises there. Every beer I review seems to be owned by somebody huge. So, it's got a nice, nice look to it. Obviously nice, clear, not a whole lot of head. Let's go ahead and give this a smell and see what we can smell in it. You know, I almost associate this smell with the beach, but it's, um, from a beer, pure beer perspective, it smells grainy kind of grainy, like you can smell maybe like corn and rice a little bit in it. Sort of like a soapy, soapy smell to it. 
I don't smell anything else in it, and I decided to not do this with a lime, because a lime can kind of just mask over everything. I wanted to taste this without a lime. All right, let's go ahead and have a taste. Let's see what we, let's see what we got here, Corona Extra. You know, it's just very, it's kind of just plain. It's kind of plain. I have my kids waving at me. It's a plain beer, and um, it's watery. It doesn't taste like piss, although I'm gonna admit that I, have, I haven't drank piss lately. Um, it's very watery. It's kind of watery and plain. Let me have another. It's kind of refreshing. It's not, you know, it's not as, I was getting ready to think it was gonna be bad, but it's refreshing. It's hot out where I am, and maybe that's a lot of it. The low carbonation, maybe the watery, kind of just makes it sort of refreshing, like drinking, drinking water. Um, it's okay. There's no flavors running around in your mouth. There's no hoppiness. There's no bitterness. Um, it's just kind of like plain, kind of like plain beer wateriness. So, you know, I would maybe give it on a scale of one to a hundred. I would maybe give this like a 55, 55 to 60. Nothing exciting, but not horrible either. So there you go, Corona Extra. Let's stick it. Let's stick it at. Uh, let's say 60. Let's keep it at 60 because it is kind of refreshing. So, all right. Uh, next week's beer. We're gonna stick with lagers and go to Jamaica, man. Welcome to Jamaica, man. And uh, maybe we can play some reggae or something on the next week's episode, but. I've, I've seen Red Stripe. I haven't had much Red Stripe in my life, and I, I saw this in the grocery store here in Destin, so I grabbed it. This is what we're gonna do next week. So go grab a Red Stripe. It's everywhere. You can get one, and we'll taste this together in next week's episode. So let me make sure there's nothing I'm, I'm missing here that I wanted to go over. Oh, trivia question. What's the trivia question for next week? What is Corona called in Spain? Tell me what it's called in Spain. First person to uh, get it right gets their name up on the uh, whiteboard for next week. This week was a virtual whiteboard. So, okay. Amigos, thank you for reviewing Corona Extra with me here in Florida. Remember, no matter where you are in the world, even if you're in Florida, you always have a friend in Plano, Texas, which is where we normally film from. All right. Hasta la, hasta la próxima semana, amigos. Thanks for watching and good night. No, you can't be it. Okay, can you not touch the tripod, Bubba? Okay, thank you, thank you. Okay. She Okay, can you both let go? Sure. Thank you. Oh, she didn't hurt you. She didn't hurt you, I saw. She didn't hurt you. Okay. Okay.